Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Leo and Virgo-only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two four-question text readings. Hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart for that. And I give away a mystery crystal box. Hashtag crystals for that, okay? <sighs> Guys, I have... I've literally drank so much caffeine today. I'm about to give myself a freaking heart attack. All right. Royal Rose Oracle is back in stock on my website. We've got uh, Royal Rose Tarot is back in stock on my website. Um, Spirit Shield Oracle is back in stock on my website. Okay. So the link for all of that is below. Um, what else? Mystery Crystal Boxes are $22.22. Link for that is also below. Guys, I'm sorry I'm in my pajamas. That's how we do it on this channel. Pajamas and drama, baby. I don't give a shit. Pajamas and drama. Holla if you hear me. Okay. All right, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. What messages do we have for my cancer babies? Okay, so we've got delays. We've got winter time. We've got forgiveness and ghosted. We've got karma and we've got spite here. Okay. Yeah, a little drink. Okay, so cancer. There is something that was supposed to come back together faster. Okay. You had a fight with someone, you had an argument with somebody. It was meant to come back faster, but it's being delayed until the winter time. So someone that owes you an apology is going to be gone until at least October or November. There is a karmic here that is very spiteful that is going to come in and tell you that your person is just using you for money i'm not sure if that's true now guys you do not have to be a millionaire to be used for money okay if you make more than your person and you tend to just pay for dinner or pay for things you know, if you, if this person doesn't have a job and you take them in, I don't know. There's a spiteful karmic here that's going to be upset. And in the winter time, when you and your person reconcile, this person's going to come in and tell you that the only reason why they're coming back to you is to mooch off of you. I don't know if that is the truth, though. I don't know if this person, because this person is operating from a place of feeling scorned, spiteful, and bitter. Anything else here for cancer? Gold digger came out again. Narcissist and gold digger with Cupid and rage. I have to be honest, cancer. I don't think this person is telling the truth. I think that this is someone that is head over heels in love with your person and they are big mad. Like we're talking majorly pissed off, scorned, bitter that your person is coming back to you. Spirit is saying to laugh at this person because with options here, how do I want to put this? Okay. This person wants you to feel like you're being used. Meanwhile, the reality is, is that they were used as a rebound. You had a title with this person. And I feel like this rebound energy never had a title. They were used for sex. They were used for entertainment. 
So cancer, this person wants to come in. I, I feel like they're very narcissistic. This individual is a narcissist. This individual is not used to being discarded, which is what your person is doing. Okay. This is a narcissist that is not accustomed to being discarded. And that is exactly what's happening to them. With humor and options, spirit is saying to laugh this person off and say, yeah, well, listen, it's not my fault that you're the one who actually got used, you know, because I feel like that's what happened, that this person was just used as a placeholder. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and use spirit shield tarot. Oh, I forgot to say. I'm also giving away one spiritual spirit shell tarot deck hashtag tarot for that. I'm sorry. I forgot to say that. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer and this person. We've got the devil in the reverse and we've got the five of cups cancer. I think that your person is realizing that they chose wrong or they allowed this karmic to disrupt them for too long or distract them for too long. I think that cancer, your person's realizing that you didn't deserve this betrayal, that you, your person is regretting something here. And I feel like they want to come back around, but I feel like this karmic is blocking it from happening. Yeah. Three of swords and, and forgiveness here, cancer, your person is in serious regret for choosing this karmic situation. I think that with the moon card and the eight of pentacles, your person wants to come back around, but they don't know how to fix it. Pisces energy, Capricorn energy. They don't know how to fix it. With the ten of swords, this is someone that knows that they betrayed you deeply. They know that they don't deserve your forgiveness. They know that I mean, they have nothing to say for themselves. Does that make sense, Cancer? Like, they've got nothing to say for themselves. So, what this person's doing is they're saying, okay, I'm just going to stick with the karmic because it's easier for now. It's easier for now. And this karmic with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands feels like they got some type of victory because your person is leaving you behind. With spite and the seven of swords here, Cancer, this is an energy of this karmic feeling betrayed. This karmic feeling betrayed that your person is choosing you. Tell me about this seven of swords and the seven of cups. Yeah, this karmic is realizing that it was all an illusion. The karmic is in love with your person, but it's not requited love. With the King of Cups and the High Priestess here, Cancer, your person has harbored feelings for you this entire time. They were in control of their emotions. They kept their emotions quiet. They kept their emotions a secret. And now, Cancer, I think that they're coming forward in the winter, the Knight of Cups and the Judgment card, Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. I am seeing a cycle, uh, a stalemate being broken by the winter. I am seeing... A, a, a huge love offer coming in the winter. And I'm also seeing with the world card here, a, a karmic cycle being shut out. This karmic is going to be big mad, man. This karmic is going to be mad. How is cancer taking this? How is cancer going to deal with this? So we've got shadow here. And we've got friendly. How is cancer taking this? We've got divine masculine. And we've got time. Cancer, I think that deep down in your heart, you knew that this would come back to you. I think you let this go knowing that this would come back to you. I think that you knew that this friend, this karmic that they had, because this karmic could be somebody that they claimed was just a friend, right? This karmic is going to catapult your person into a dark night of the soul. And I think that cancer, you felt that 
you're going to give yourself time to heal and you're going to give your person the time to complete the karmic lesson and come back to you in their divine masculine energy. Tell me about cancer, please. Yeah, cancer, you know that this temporary, this, um, you know that this separation is temporary. You know it. You felt it in the core of your being. I feel like cancer, maybe you tried to fix things with your person, but they got very like defensive and guarded. And I feel like the reason why your person was acting that way was because there was an actual third party in the picture. And I think that your person wants to apologize that to, about that above all else. So when the connection was starting to fall apart, Cancer, you may have told this person, why don't we go away on a weekend trip? Why don't we go to counseling? Why don't we just spend a night together and maybe talk it out and see if we can work on our connection? This person was completely opposed to that. They went towards the karmic for shallow and superficial re you know, reasons, but with emotionally unavailable here, the feeling, the love was not there. It may have been lust, okay? It may have been lust. It may have been lust. Or it could be that this karmic had money. I don't know, but... Um, I feel like you knew you released this 100% knowing that it would come back. Tell me about shadow here for cancer. We've got the hermit Virgo energy. Tell me about friendly and the nine of swords. Cancer, I think that you knew that your person was going to end up going through a hard time. Maybe you're a tarot reader. Maybe you got a tarot reading. I don't know. But intuitively, you knew that this karmic quote unquote friend was going to catapult your person into a dark night of the soul. That your person may have gone through a depression, done the soul searching, done the inner work. You know that your person is about to head into a really bad karmic situation here. You also know that this is the final cycle. You know that it's the final cycle. And you know that with the Three of Cups and Divine Masculine here, that when this person comes back to you, they're going to come back to you in masculine energy. With time and the Three of Pentacles, you just know that in the end, everything is going to work out. I don't know how you know, but you know. Six of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Cancer, I think that you let this person go. You let this person go knowing that it would come back to you. Tell me about defensive here. The chariot Cancerian energy and the two of cups with the emperor, divine masculine energy again. Cancer, they're kind I, I don't know. How, I don't know how you knew this, but you did. That's all I can say. That is all I can say. I don't know how you knew this. But you did. And I am seeing you waiting for this person to come back around to you. And I am seeing that they are operating from their highest self. Now let's take a look at this karmic. How is this karmic feeling about all of this? Tell me about this karmic. Yeah. <laughs> this karmic is in their feelings. We've got divorce ending finality. All right, so this karmic is out the door. And with yes and clingy here, this karmic is very codependent on your person. This karmic wants your person's time. They want your person's attention. They want all of this shit. They, they, want, they want to just own your person. Tell me more about this karmic. Yeah, your karmic desires your person, they lust for your person, and they want to settle down with your person. But I think that what happened here, Cancer, is that your person started holding on to some type of resentment that they, they, they couldn't stand this karmic anymore because I feel like all your person wants is to be home with you. They may feel like 
you know, I'm not saying that this person is not taking responsibility for their actions. That's not what I'm saying. But there's a sense of like this hatefulness towards the karmic. Your person is completely disinterested with this third party, okay? But this third party is not right in the head, okay? There's a third party here that's not right in the head. This is someone that has severe jealousy jealousy issues because with uh, they want to be the one here. They want to be the person that your person settles down with. This person, I don't know. Let's just see here. Yeah, see, they're in, they're head over heels in love with your person. Does Cancer need to watch out for anything here, please, Spirit? Is this what is this karmic going to do? We've got the Ten of Wands. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This person may feel like they don't have as much money as you. They feel like they can't hold a candle to you. They feel like there's no way they could ever compare to you. What is this? And look, with the five of wands, it pisses them off. It pisses them off. We've got the uh, high priestess under the deck. Cancer, it looks to me that you're sitting in your nine of pentacles energy. It looks to me like you're very intuitive you could be a tarot reader or you're close to a tarot reader and this was told to you already we've got the page of cups and the judgment card yeah this person's pissed cancer this person may even come towards you when they are still with this third party and this person finds out that you guys have been talking behind their back Page of Swords in the reverse. This is someone that is consistently stalking your social media and stuck on you. Yeah, this is somebody that the entire time that this karmic and your person have been around each other, this is someone that has been scared that your person is still in love with you and that they're going to reconcile with you. So this, this karmic knew that there was a very high chance. This karmic knew that there was a high chance of you guys reconciling. What does this karmic want to say to Cancer? He's overcompensating for something. The chemistry is off between us. So I feel like Cancer, what the only thing that these two had was lust. And that burnt out. I feel like Cancer, your person may... Um, be going a little bit above and beyond with this karmic, like maybe buying things for them or whatever to shut them up because they don't love this person. They don't lust after this person. There's a sense that the lust is off. The chemistry is off here. The chemistry is off here. I want to have control over him so he will not run back to you. What did I say? One more, please. Mind your own business. Cancer, this person has been stalking your social media to make sure that you're not, you know, wanting this person or trying to reach out to this person. But in reality, it's your person that wants to come back home to you. I don't feel like you're making any type of move to go and get this person. I think this karmic is going to be in their feelings when you guys reconcile. All right, spirit, tell me about cancer and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. If we're dealing with an Aries. Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups. This is an attention whore. If you're dealing with, I'm, I'm not saying they're an actual whore, but they're an attention whore. This is someone that's flashy. They want to flirt with people. This is someone that thrives on knowing that people want them. If we're dealing with a Taurus, the Two of Swords and the Hierophant. Two of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Swords. This is somebody that wants high levels of commitment with you, but they are serious about you cutting something out of your life. They're laying down the law and they're saying, if you want high levels of commit with me, commitment with me, you have to stop doing 
whatever they request. If we're dealing with a Gemini, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this person comes off. It, they got, Geminis are two personalities. One of their personalities is everything you want in a person. Their other personality stresses you the fuck out, okay? If we're dealing with a Cancer, the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with another Cancer, this person's in love with you, in lust with you. I'm seeing long term. If we're dealing with a Leo, the Tower and the Seven of Wands. Cancer, a bad fight is breaking out between you and the Leo. What is the Seven of Wands? But you guys are going to overcome it. You guys are going to overcome it with the Leo here. Um, you guys could be twin flames. You guys could be divine soulmates. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords, be careful with the Virgo. They're, they're coming in to get something from you, whether it's sex, money, whatever the case may be. This is a very in and out energy. They're a liar. They're a cheat. If we're dealing with a Libra, Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, someone here could be proposing marriage. Uh, there could be a reconciliation. The Libra is not going anywhere. It's long term. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups, this person wants to have an honest conversation, clean the air, and they want reconciliation. If we're dealing with a Sag, Ten of Wands and the Magician, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this person could be doing magic on you, but it's draining them. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, when this person's at work, they don't want to be bothered. And it's not because they're cheating, it's because they're working. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the High Priestess and the Judgment card with the Knight of Pentacles. Cancer, it's been a long time. You know, th th this is an overdue apology coming towards you. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Cancer, this person has options, but they only have eyes for you, okay? All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you all so much, and I will see you soon. Take care, my darling.